in this problem the gas undergoes two stages in first stage so we have this two moles of gas that is cooled isochorically such that gas pressure reduce eta times and then in the second process it's heaten it's heated isobarically such that it expands till the temperature gets back to its initial value we need to find the total amount of heat absorbed so the heat absorbed in first process plus heat absorbed in second process so let us individually calculate that so in phase 1 volume is constant because it is uh, cooled isochorically and it's given that pressure gets reduced eta times so if initial temperature is given let's find final temperature so that we can find what is the change in internal energy and then we can find the value of q so to find the final temperature we will use this because the volume is constant p0 by t0 is equal to p1 by t1 so t1 comes to be t0 into p1 by p0 and p1 by p0 is given as 1 by eta it's given that pre pressure reduces eta times so this is the final temperature after the first process so now we can find the heat absorbed during the first process that is delta u because work done is zero is equal to nr delta t by gamma minus 1 so delta t now is final temperature minus initial temperature nr upon gamma minus 1 so this is q1 now in second phase we have to expand the gas until the temperature gets back to its initial value so final temperature of second process is t not and initial temperature of uh, the second process is t not by eta so now we will find q2 so q2 is delta u plus p delta v because of isobaric process so v not delta t so we'll write both of them in terms of delta t so delta u will become nr delta t by gamma, gamma minus 1 and p delta v is nr delta t so from here will final temperature is same as initial temperature that is t not minus t1 t1 is t not by eta right so net heat for both the processes is q1 plus q2 we just add these two and get our answer and we see that uh, quite surprisingly the net heat is independent of the type of gas which we use all right